Okay guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what you're going to do when you're going to get uh, or when you have gotten a red bubble suspension, termination, uh, account ban, whatever you want to call it, okay? I know a lot of people watching this right now uh, probably have an account and everything is perfectly fine, uh, but you want to come back to this video when something like this happens, okay? The thing that you're seeing on the screen is only part of it, so you're going to want to watch the whole entire video from beginning to end. This is, this is, there is an immediate step-by-step -step process for this. And the good thing is, for the people who are watching this video and their account is not banned, you still want to watch this video, at least the beginning part, to at least know what to do before you get banned so that you're actually safe from the point of all of your designs, so you don't lose all of your hard work. Okay, it's going to be very, very important. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, we're going to uh, segment this video into two main sections or two main segments. The first segment is going to be before you get banned, do this. Okay, so first thing you want to do is every single design you create, you, you're going to want to have some sort of hard drive or some sort of file on your on your computer, some sort of place where you can store all of your hard work, all of your designs. Okay, it's only going to take an extra second every single day to do it, uh, but it's well worth it. I'm telling you, if something like this happens, you need to be able to protect yourself. Okay, you need to take those designs that you have and, and that you have created before and that make you money, whether they make you money or not is irrelevant. Even a beginner should do this. I don't care if you have one design or 50 designs or even 5 million designs. You need to take all your designs and put them in a special location. It could be in a file. It could be in a hard drive, etc. You need to store them. What you're going to do is you're going to have an also a separate website. On your website, you're going to post all your designs there. I, in, I haven't created many video tutorials around that. I'll be creating them in the very, very close future about creating the website tutorial and things like that around how to create a print-on-demand website. But there are reasons why we do this. Number one, we have more control. Number two, we are diversifying our income, and more importantly, we are protecting ourselves so we have our design saved up in the cloud on our website where consumers can still access to be able to purchase, okay? Over time, what you'll notice is that your website will potentially get much more traffic than your uh, designs on these other platforms will, and the reason why is because you have more control and you're going to be dedicated it, dedicating it. Uh, dedicating, excuse me, your effort or as much effort as possible to your website, just as I'm going to show you, okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your designs and consistently as you're, as you're working on Redbubble and you're going to post just a little bit each and every day on alternative platforms. These are two of my favorites. You have Zazzle, okay? And you have TeePublic. Zazzle is a little bit newer to me. Um, but T Public is not. I've talked about T Public a little while ago, and I believe within the next maybe six to seven years, it will uh, catch up to Redbubble where Redbubble is currently. Okay, so um, T Public is definitely a way to go, and so is Zazzle. Like I said, there's reasons behind this, uh, but we'll just keep that you know those kind of videos separate for the future. But for now, uh, you want to upload your designs on other platforms such as T Public and Zazzle. Okay, that's something you do want to do. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to make it a little bit easier on you. You're going to, you know, dealing with, with the closed account, I'm sure, is very, very tough. And so what you need to do is you need to keep your head up and you need to stay focused. For everybody who's watching this who has had an account banned or removed, um, terminated, deleted, whatever you want to say, suspended, uh, you've dealt with it before or you're dealing with it now, I want to give you the motivation that you need right here, right now, and tell you that this is not the end. Okay, this is only the beginning. This is just the beginning. This is a a uh, a scene in your movie. This is a scene in your story. This is just a chapter in the book. Okay, we're gonna move on past this. Trust me, we're gonna get past this together. All right. So let's just go ahead and and stay focused here. So at this point, like I said, just to do a, a summary here, you should have po of uh, your designs being consistently posted on Zazzle and T Public. Okay. Then the thing that you're gonna want to have is you're gonna want to already have a website, okay? And you don't want to wait till your website is banned, uh, your your Redbubble account is banned before you do this. You want to do this from before, okay? Um, 
the worst time to prepare is when the attack happens. You want to be prepared before the attack, right? And I'm speaking in metaphors here, but you guys got to get my point. Uh, the next thing, like I said, is you're going to have to have a website along with the TeePublic, the Zazzle, any alternative platform that you have. You also want to save on your flash drive or a hard drive or a file all your designs, every single design. I don't care if you made a thousand designs. I don't care if you made 50 million designs. Pay the extra money for hard drives. Get them saved. Get the, you know, it's hard work that you spent time doing. You need to save that, okay? Now, we're going to go into Redbubble. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to submit an appeal, okay? So to submit an appeal... I'll have the link in the description, but uh, you can submit an appeal by adding your email address and your username, okay? There's not much you could do after this. Of course, you can add a file in all this, uh, but y I want you to be aware that most of the time, okay, most of the time, Redbubble will not accept your appeal, at least from this platform. Now, there's nothing about Redbubble. Redbubble is an amazing company. However, you have to realize that you have, in some sort of way, uh, crossed over their privacy policies, uh, their their community guidelines, any kind of policy that they have, you have crossed that line. Okay, now you might not know that you've crossed it, but more like more than likely you have crossed it. Okay, whether it be a certain keyword that you may have used that went gone undetected, maybe it was a certain tag that you added, maybe it was your design. It could be anything. Okay, I know I hear a lot of people say, um, you know, I did nothing wrong, and and I completely understand. From your point of view, you did nothing wrong, but the reality is, is most of the time, I mean, most of the time it's really something that just goes undetected that, you know, maybe you used a certain keyword, maybe you had a certain design that you just didn't know can get you banned, and, it, and it'll get you banned. Now, something I will say is, it's much different than getting a piece of art removed on your, on your Redbubble account. So, when you get a piece of art removed, they'll tell you, hey, we removed your account, uh, we removed your art, Okay. When you get your account banned, a lot of the times they don't tell you that. Why? Because you've reached a certain level of issues with your account, and they just don't even tell you, and they get rid of you. There's, I'm like I'm saying, if you if it is a design, they're not going to tell you, hey, it's a design. They're just going to ban your account. They're not going to. They have no obligation to tell you why they did it to your account. Okay. I've seen a ton of people on, not a ton, but like literally a few, um, on my YouTube channel, people saying, um, you know. I've been creating 60 designs per day. I'm getting removed because of the 60 designs. The answer is no, you are not. Redbubble specifically states that you can design up to 60. They did not say, uh, you know, if you do more than 60, or excuse me, if you do 60, we'll remove you. They did not say that. But it matters when you're adding these designs, there could be certain words that are copyrighted, are trademarked, etc. For example, the word Hydra, right, which I thought was like a water dragon or a three-headed dragon, the word Hydra was a, a trademarked copyrighted term. Um, that was a trademarked copyrighted term. I did not know that, okay? So I, wa I want you guys to be aware of there's going to be words out there that we utilize in our art that we just don't know is trademarked or copyrighted and cause issues. And that's honestly probably most of the things that's going to cause you issues. Now, if you uh, literally just straight off copied other people, uh, I don't even recommend you do this. You're wasting your time. They will not reinstate your account, okay? Now, um, you have your email address, your username. By the way, I also, somebody said in the comments, uh, like, two, three days ago that, um, I work for Redbubble. Guys, I don't work for Redbubble. I wish I did work for Redbubble. You know, I would love to work for Redbubble. If somebody from Redbubble is watching this and they want me to work for them, I would love to work for Redbubble. Uh, in my case, I am currently not working for Redbubble. I'm not employed. I never was employed by Redbubble. I only am a designer on Redbubble. That's it. Okay? And, uh, by the way, sorry, I forgot to make the announcement. The course, guys, for the tagging course on Redbubble, you, uh, it has been updated. But I, I don't want to talk about that. Like I said, we'll talk about that in a different video tomorrow or the day after. But we'll get back to this, okay? So you're going to submit an appeal. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to the contact section. You're going to contact them. Okay, you're going to send them a letter. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to have a letter kind of something like this. What you need to do is you need to express to Redbubble that you've made a mistake. Okay, that's number one. And the second thing you have to express to them is not only that you're apologetic, but you're you have done your due diligence to go back in time, read the policies, read the guidelines, etc. 
okay? Because what they don't want to do is they don't want to have somebody who just is a repeat offender, a violator, okay? Now, what you're doing at this point is you're explaining to Redbubble that you not only have you made a mistake, like I said, but you're willing to be better. You want to be better, okay? So let me read you uh, an example of an email uh, to send. I'm not saying this is this is the exact email you need. I'm just saying this is a, uh, an example of an email to send. I will, once this video's up and a few hours go by, and the I'm going to create a blog post with this letter so that if you guys need to use it as a guideline, um, you guys can check it out there. But I'll read it to you, okay? It says, Dear Redbubble, my name is, and then blank, I need help, period. My account, blank, has been terminated. I'm extremely sad, and I just want to say sorry. Okay, I apologize for doing things that go against the community guidelines. I want to say that I have not only read but went through the community guidelines and now I completely understand what I'm supposed to do. And by the way, guys, you need to read the community guidelines if you're writing this letter. Like, like if you're writing this letter, you need to go through it. You need to realize exactly what you did because at the end of the day, you do not want to be a repeat offender in Redbubble's eyes. All right. Is there any way that you could find it in your heart to grant me my account back or give me the ability to create a new account? The reason why we say this specifically is because sometimes Redbubble or most times they won't give you your account back, but what they will do is they'll allow you to create new accounts, okay? Sometimes if you've really went overboard, they will not give you the ability to create any more accounts. So this is something you got to ask for, okay? And then what you say is, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. All right. So if you go through the through the dynamic of the letter there, what you're really doing is you're apologizing. You're saying, I've learned what I did wrong and I want to fix myself. Please give me another opportunity. That's essentially what you're doing. Now, once again, don't just copy and paste this letter. You want to write something that is meaningful and is honest. OK, you don't just want to, you know, try to scam the system here. OK, because at the end of the day, if you let's say you get approved doing this uh, letter, the next time, you're not going to get approved anymore. You're not going to be allowed. You're not going to... The, the first mistake you do, you're going to be out, all right? So, and of course, I'm speaking from my perspective. I'm not speaking from Redbubble's perspective. I am not Redbubble. I don't work for Redbubble. I do not own Redbubble. I have nothing to do with Redbubble. I'm just a fan, a very loyal supporter of Redbubble. I'm a huge fan of Redbubble, actually. I'm a, You know, you can call me the Redbubble nerd, okay? Because I'm a fan of Redbubble, all right? I geek out on Redbubble, all right? Anyways, that's not the point. So... You're going to fill out this letter, you're going to hit submit. Then what you're going to do is, in the same area for the contact, you're going to live chat, if it is available, with a Redbubble agent, okay? You're going to live chat and you're going to explain everything that went through, and you just want to say, hey, I'm sorry, like, please help me. And what they're going to tell you, well, I don't know what really for a guarantee what they're going to tell you is, typically they cannot make the decision. They're just online support help. So what they're going to do is they're going to say, hey, we'll make a note of this, etc. Okay, and on your account, there's going to be like a ticket that says, hey, we made a note of this, etc. And and whoever is going to be end up reading this letter of yours, they're going to see it. Okay, if you truly, you know, I'm not saying that you're going to get your account back for, for sure. But what you need to do is you need to give it your best shot. Okay, Redbubble is... Probably the best company out there, in my opinion, for print-on-demand. Um, it doesn't get better than Redbubble, in my opinion, like I said. They're a very, very large company. I love Redbubble personally, as you guys can probably tell. Um, but, you know, you want to essentially, like, you know, you, you, you don't want to leave this platform. It's a great platform. So, with that being said, do what you can to... Uh, essentially be apologetic and, and show them that you want to get back. And and hopefully this video helped everybody who's uh, interested in getting back on Redbubble and get it going. But like I said, if for some reason you can't, uh, the video is there, the, everything is there in these guidelines, and get on that, all right? I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching this video. More importantly, uh, I hope you guys get your account back, and um, we'll just pray for the best, all right? I'll talk to you later. Peace out, bye.